Are you serious? Are you serious right now? The big oaf? The big roly poly dude is Blackbeard. Oh, man. And he's looking for Luffy now. And if I'm not mistaken, the dude that's meeting with the uh the the, the elders and the out and the uh, admirals wants Blackbeard to be oh my god wow wow this is getting good this is getting good and like Shanks I was literally like what is Shanks next move what is like what's the end game for Shanks apparently it's something to do with Blackbeard and Ace I'm not sure uh, what what Shanks has to do with this. But he sends a message to uh, Whitebeard, and we get the revelation of what Whitebeard looks like. This is this big, stocky dude. He's on dialysis, and he calls Shanks an upstart. So I'm guessing Shanks isn't in the same ballpark as uh, Whitebeard. That's a pleasant surprise. I'm still wondering why the uh, the admirals and like the like the five shit. What were they called? I can't remember what they're called. Like the the five uh, the five elders. I'm still wondering why they used the word catastrophic. Now these two are about to meet, but I wasn't expecting Oda to just give it to us the next chapter. This is good. This is good. You know, I like how you know Shanks basically tells his men we're gonna set sail, and he's like get a good bottle of booze. So it's looking like Shanks Shanks is up to something. This is good. This is good. Like Oda's been reaching back, pulling for different people. You know, you you got Hachi doing his thing. His Thing under the sea like he's doing the little mermaid stuff so like to have that on the cover pages and then to have shanks pop up and then buggy pop up and alveda like it's literally like we're seeing everybody everybody the only thing that we need now like because we had uh iron fist uh, uh iron fist full body and we had uh jongo we had smoker pop back up we need Kobe to show up. Kobe and he who shall not be named. The character who, if you guys have been here for a while, you know I don't like the guy. But he who shall not be named. And I ain't talking about Voldemort. We just need we need those two to show back up. And Oda has reached back in Kuro. And Oda would have reached back for everyone. Everyone that's been introduced who's been a decent player. You know, in terms of the One Piece stuff, because Kobe, for the most part, you know, Kobe did put in some work. You know, if it wasn't for Kobe, Zoro wouldn't have got free. I mean, Kobe did some work, man. And I really feel like uh, Kobe, when it's all said and done, is going to have a huge part to play in Luffy becoming King of the Pirates. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but technically, Kobe is the first person who Luffy uh luffy d demonstrate his greatness too you know like that one of my favorite scenes in one piece so far is kobe coming out through the not kobe luffy coming out through the barrel and kobe being all animated and he's on alveda's ship and if i'm not mistaken kobe actually wants to be a marine to hunt down alveda so that would be pretty cool to have some luffy and kobe action taking on alveda and and buggy and i said it works now he's in the navy but very good chapter, man. Like the very good, very good. The revelation that Blackbeard is going to be looking for Luffy, but at the same time, he says, "You know what, though? I have no problem if we miss him, we miss him." That, like that last half of the chapter completely overshadows what happened in the very beginning, and this is one of those instances where it's so much epicness that you can't just you know, focus on it. But this would be a scene where. Just in the anime is really good, whereas on, if you're reading this on a weekly basis, I could see how this chapter just hits you with a wow. It, it literally would take a full week to digest because we get an idea for what Doflamingo's powers are. You know, he does a little finger waving stuff and, you know, he twiddles his fingers and all of a sudden he's able to control people's bodies and stuff. So that will be very interesting. Right away, I'm trying to think of a way Luffy can combat that. So I don't know how that would happen, but, you know, Doflamingo, his whole thing is like, I wasn't going to show up. Business is booming on the island. So it really looks like the seven warlords, they all have their own island. And since they have their own island, you know, it's kind of like the government saying, you know what, like you do your thing, stay the hell out of trouble. We can't really contain you. So you do your thing and that'll be it. And I like how Mihawk just shows up. And I think that Mihawk knows that they're going to be discussing Luffy. Because he says that he's very interested in the uh, very interested in the pirates who they're getting ready to discuss. So you know it's them. 
And so he's probably got information that Zoro's bounty is going up. So that's going to be that's going to be cool to kind of see those uh, reactions and just see how Oda continues to kind of build on that. Very interesting, by the way, too, because for me, like I'm getting ready to start rewatching the One Piece uh, anime. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter because I tweet out, you know, just like my different responses and everything to the episodes. You know, I plan to react to the episodes and. I changed my mind. You know, some of you guys told me like, "Oh no, no, don't do live reactions to the episodes. If you do it, you know, you'll catch a copyright strike." Toei totally Animation doesn't play that. I know that from my Dragon Ball Abridged video where uh, I had to demonetize it so I didn't get hit. But then I watched like Uzumaki. I think it's Uzumaki Khan Chan something. I, I, I it's Uzumaki something. But you know, he's also kind of doing something similar to me where he's taking different series and. He's watching them from the very beginning, whereas I read the mangas and review it from the very beginning, obviously, because I've got a writing background. So I like I like it's another guy doing this, you know, like I, I really like this, man. You know, I'm not in a race to catch up. I'm not I'm not in a race like I'm not going to catch him in the next year. So that's not going to happen. But, you know, we, we each do our own thing. But, you know, I'm speaking on him because. You know, I've been getting messages from you guys and you tell me be careful with the anime clips because his stuff just got shut down. So we're well, not shut down, but he's on warning about to go on his uh, go on this channel and check out some stuff and see what's going on. You know, if he's smart, he'll put his stuff on private. But, you know, whatever at this point. So, yeah, very good chapter, guys. Got a little off subject here. Obviously, you know, the first half with Shanks like that's Shanks. I love I love the character, man. Like I wish there was more. Like when I talk about One Piece spinoffs, I really wish there was a One Piece, you know, just focusing around Shanks a little bit. And I like how Whitebeard is basically saying that Shanks. This is a little crude, but he's basically saying that Shanks hasn't been around long enough to sniff his ball sack. So that's interesting, just to see that he's got that view of Shanks, and yet the uh, Admiral and the other people view Shanks as a serious player. So this is this is cool. He's the strongest person in the world for a reason. So with that being said, my chapter question for you guys is what were your thoughts about the fact that Mihawk showed up and what were your thoughts about Blackbeard acknowledging Luffy at this point? And I can't wait to see if they cross paths what Blackbeard does when he meets Luffy. But as always, guys, if you like anything I have to say, Hit that like button, comment, rate, subscribe, share. I will greatly appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.